நீ ஃபோன்ல இருந்துக்க பேசிட்டு வரேன் Hi guys I'm extremely happy to see you every one of you it's a great honor to interact with you and we will now uh spend an hour of time to share uh the experiences of course not much of experience but more about the police service at any point in time anybody like you a student in the college would have thought about or some stray thoughts would have come into your mind how will it be if i make a career in the police department most of the people certainly would have thought about it and this thinking is not without any reason police is a very important branch of the government meant for maintaining public order tranquility and investigation of crimes this is a very challenging job it is a very satisfying job and more often it is a charismatic job so anybody will be interested in this police being the most important branch of the government any government any country meant for maintaining tranquility you would have seen in this present scenario of coronavirus epidemic and the endemic how much responsibility is vested on the police department so um police service also gives you you know those opportunities for public service in the police you can also make a greater contribution you can meet various challenges you can officer first line of officer is a sub inspector sub inspector you can join the police department as a dysp deputy superintendent of police and that is a cadre of the state government usually most of the states they recruit dysps as a group on officer and the ultimate i think most of the students now listening to this program are college graduates and more of you probably is interested in the ips which is part of the civil services ias ips indian foreign service and another 22 services i am sure you will be more interested to listen about this indian police service i must also make a clear distinction between a state police and a police of the union of india the central government police services i have seen a lot of you hope many of you are really interested to be an investigator a detector to serve in the cbi to crack important cases crime cases crimes that's nice you can also be part of the cbi but to go to the cbi there are various channels you can also directly join as a cbi officer you can also join cbi as a higher level officer as an ips officer technical grades there are so many ways so there is distinguish between a state police officer and the police officer of the union so state governments you'll be you know there the state police in the police station in the district in the state now in the central government there are paramilitary forces now they are called central armed police forces like a crpf bsf cisf you have seen in the airports and seaports there is interchivitian border police there are railway protection force there are similar organizations like the like, uh, suraksha mobile ssb the police has started off in 1846 in the city of chennai then calcutta and delhi in the similar pattern of the london police and but over the period of time the police have evolved as a professional body of men and officers and now women who have various responsibilities i have mentioned about the peace and tranquility that's no more the singular function of the police you would have known about the traffic accidents at that point in time there was no motor vehicles in the whole india now there are millions of motor vehicles and 100000 people die every year of road accidents 
So traffic investigation, investigation of the cases, regulation of traffic, enforcement of traffic rules is a responsibility of the police. You'll be knowing that as soon after the independence, the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, was shot dead. Subsequently, the former Prime Minister of the country, Srimad Indira Gandhi, was shot dead. Former Prime Minister, Sri Rajiv Gandhi, was murdered in a human bomb attack. So, BVIP protection is an important portfolio, which is looking out, looked after by, essentially by the police. There are innumerable acts and laws and rules that had to be implemented in this country, for example, now Epidemic Act. So, Disaster Management Act. These are the two acts that are being enforced now at this present time of the coronavirus. So, innumerable acts without number. There are so many such acts or laws. Laws. So many laws. Laws without number. They are being enforced by the police. So, uh, police service is a tremendous service. Very, very, very challenging service. Satisfying service. Sometimes very dangerous to your life sometimes. Yes. Still, this is a very promising. If you are interested, you can really join this service. About the Indian Police Service. Indian Police Service is a service which provides the to the police. There are certain very important aspects of the police service, Indian Police Service, I must explain to you. Along with the Indian Civil Service, that is IAS, IPS and IFS, this also is a service in which you can enter into the service. You can really, really join the service through a selection process. A selection process by the UPSC, Union Public Service Commission. Now, the Union Public Service Commission conducts examinations for all these services, Indian Administrative Service, Indian Police Service, Indian Foreign Service, not for a service, there's a different stream, I'll talk later if there's the time. And Indian Revenue Service, Customs Service, Postal Service, there are so many other services. Now, about the civil services, interestingly, civil service concept is very, very important. IAS, IPS, IFS. The original concept was it developed in the ancient Rome. Plato imagined a state which is ruled by the guardians. The guardians are selected young people by Jalaluddin Muhammad Akbar, the grandson of Sakruddin Muhammad Babar. Of course, at that point in time, collector was meant for, you know, <laughs> collecting the revenue. One of the most extortionist system at that point in time, probably one third of the income must go or fourth, one fourth of the income must go. And it was a very harsh kind of a revenue collection. But now, collectors are meant for welfare, development, solving the problems, helping the people. It's a pivotal role in the district. You're a district collector. That's why soon after the independence, when the civil services, Indian civil services is renamed as Indian Administrative Service, Sadar Vallabhai Patel said IAS is the steel frame of Indian government machinery. Very interesting. Even today, look at the coronavirus fight in a state level, apart from the political leadership, is a chief. One of the salient features, the great uh, aspect of the Indian police service is you join, uh, you have the take up, taken up the responsibility of the force at a very young age. Thousands of people will be uh, your um, force and you are, you really matter. You are in charge of your district. So all these things really make a lot of difference. You have to face problems. And in fact, as a superintendent of police, I have faced very serious communal writings, days together, weeks together, for prolonged months together. It's a very huge responsibility. When I joined the service, first two years of my service was spent a long process when, when compared to that height, 160 eyesight. Now there's a lot of check up in the website, most of your examination and an interview. The preliminary examination is an objective type examination. I think as a student of the college, you should really, really prepare for this preliminary only. The preliminary examination is a objective type questions. There will be a question, there will be four different answers, but not exactly four different answers. There will be different kind of permutation, combination of designing the answer. 
So you, you, you can really take a look at the previous question papers. In this preliminary examination, if you clear this prelims exam, you will go and write the main examination. This is because 400,000 students, 400,000 candidates last year, even 900,000 students applied, but ultimately some 400,000 students appeared for the prelims. So it's only to screen the serious candidates for the main examination. But the main examination is a routine examination. That's why it's very, very important. College students, it's very important. You develop a habit of writing, writing essays, articles, to put your thoughts in a proper way, in a sequence. That's very, very important. If you're always in the computer and not writing, it will be bad for you. You must be able to write down main examination. The very important examination because the marks obtained in the main examination alone will be counted for your ultimate selection or rejection. Mostly it's a rejection process, okay? So select the best and, uh, and reject the rest. So like, like the US SEALs uh, motto. So then you are going for the interview. Interview carries 225 marks. So I'm sorry, 175 marks. So the interview process, the interview. So um, the, uh, the, the interview, interview carries 250 marks. So interview, ultimately. So once that is over, your marks in the main examination, your marks in the interview will be added. And the merit list is prepared. If your name is in the top in the list, you can choose any career, IAS. IAS is over. <laughs> then you can only select IPS. IPS is over. Even IFS comes somewhere there, either the top or the middle. IFS, then IAS, then down the line, revenue service and other services. So if you are very keen to be an IPS officer, you should try to score as much marks as possible, the main examination, and also the interview, the total mark out of 2,025 2, marks, total marks. You should be able to score something like 60, 61 percentage. So within the first 100 or 150, if we come, or 200, or sometimes if you belong to the, 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 the OPZ or, or the civil cost, probably a little, little less. But if you are keen to be an IPS officer, try to be somewhere at the top of the list that is pretty very very important so to the aspiring candidates for IAS or IPS or IFS or revenue service I can just give some ideas to you first of all I must really really discuss this main the very 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 vital part of the UPSC civil service examination the preliminary examination this is critical because if you don't clear this exam you can't go and write the main examination Number two, a lot of people fail in this exam only. Number three, if you don't pass this preliminary examination, you probably don't have the confidence at all to write the second time because most of the successful candidates are writing the exam for the second time, third time, fourth time, even more. So like the need examination, the repetition candidate, the repeat candidates have the more opportunity. They, they, they have a much better chance of clearing the examination. So, so how will you have the confidence unless you cle don't clear the preliminary examination after all? So preliminary, pre preliminary examination has two parts. One is the more general studies. This is very, very important because the marks you score in the general studies really, really matters for your selection or rejection here. The CSAT, the second part, CSAT, the CSAT, the CSAT is only a qualifying test. That's of course, it's, a, it's 200 marks qualifying, but GS 200 marks, that's very, very important because that is for your counting or uh, whether uh, it will be counted and it will decide whether you are through or you are not. So the CSAT is civil services aptitude test. It is something like your Yes, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, civil service aptitude test is something like a GMAT or, or, or a CAT. There will be mental ability tests, there will be comprehension, there will be numeracy, there will be space relationship, uh, your ability to think fast, calculate fast, understand the problems, your ability in English language, skills. Uh, these things are tested in the CSAT and it's only qualifying. On the one third mark, of your, 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 your quali you, you score, you are through. But the problem is there will be 80 questions and in, in two hours, each question carries two and a half marks unless you have prepared. 
you have trained in fast calculations. Suppose the question is like this, one and a half hens can lay one and a half eggs in one and a half days. How many eggs can six hens lay in seven days? You should be able to think fast. If a train is crossing a railway station, somebody is standing here, the train is uh, moving at the speed of 18 kilometers. The length of the train is 120 meters. In how many seconds will it cross a person? You should be able to make fast decisions, fast quick calculation. So there will be a passage. And based on that passage, there are a few questions. You have only two and a half minutes. So you should be able to comprehend it. And it's very important this. You should have a good command over English language and its vocabulary. English language usage, whether whatever you be your mother tongue, this is very, very important. So preliminary CSER exam we have discussed. In preliminary, something very, very important to get together, of course, the mark you score, every mark you score is very more important. Many students would have lost the preliminary examination by one mark, two marks, three marks. The problem here is your understanding should be really, really, really deep. You must go for vast reading also. So, I'll say some of the important subjects which are part of the preliminary general studies. Number one, current affairs, the affairs of national and international importance. Number two, history of India and the freedom struggle. All of us studied in the school, of course, but you had to really study a little elaborately. Last two years before they asked the question, what is the name of the scholar who has deciphered the edicts of uh, the edicts of um, the Emperor Ashok? So the, he, he, he was uh, James Prince. But this you can only know if you really made a elaborate, vast reading and try to understand the real history of this country for many many years. They say soon after uh, the Muhammad uh, of Tughlaq. Uh, Feroz Shah has come to India and he has found this uh, stupas and he has the son seen something written on this uh, edicts of Ashoka. He was not able to read. He called all the people. It was brought from Jamuna, in the Jamuna River. He called people of Agra and asked them what is written there. Nobody knew what was written in that. It was written Satya Meva Jaiti. Only James Prince, being a scholar, research scholar in many languages, was able to find out. So questions will be something like this. Number two. Geography of India, geography of the world. In India, you must know all the rivers, river systems, the tributaries, the distributaries of Yamuna, Ganga, uh, the, the Brahmaputra, the South Indian rivers, the mountains, the Indian Ocean, and how many countries the ocean of Indian, the, 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 the base of Indian Ocean will wash of the Mediterranean. So you should have a better idea. One question, simple question they asked. If a man is traveling from the state of Assam, from Tishpur, he coming to question through the national highways, how many states will he travel? Very simple question, but very 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 reserved. So, uh, what, 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 the, what are the floral and fauna? Last year they asked a the question, the great Indian, the man, what else? Look, look, uh, come here. Ecology and environment of late, the climate change is one of the very important subjects. A lot of questions are asked from this subject. So you can't simply neglect it. The great uh, Indian horn bill of Western Ghats is a question that is being asked very often. The Recently, a question was asked about the Tare camels of Gujarat. The question was also asked about the Irrawaddy dolphins. Irrawaddy dolphins are, or many of the Irrawaddy dolphins are actually found in uh, Chilka Lake. Chilka Lake is in Odisha. So, ecology and environment, whatever, is climate change or the current topics, and many questions can be asked. And ultimately, the most important subject of science and technology. And in science and technology, you can always expect questions about the India's achievement in space research, in the military, our uh, day's work scheme, um, Aishman Bharat scheme, 
um, and, uh, and similarly, the um, scheme meant for giving employment to the educated people, skilled, uh, improving the skill of the people. So there are so many government schemes which are which, which are come up. You should have an, an idea about these schemes. Check man, please check it. These government schemes are very very important part. Okay, of this question. So how can you really proceed now? Really, uh, I had explained to you how we can proceed to prepare for you by the examination. I must uh, slightly touch upon the main examination. I told you, main examination is an examination. You should develop the art of writing essays in due course of time in the college. So this uh, examination has an important language question. The Indian language, it can be your mother tongue or Hindi, uh, but it carries 300 marks. You should be able to clear this Indian language test. If you don't clear this Indian language test, probably they will not even take up the correction of your other papers. So I find a lot of people failing in this Indian language examination. It's very shameful because you are not even able to write properly in your own mother tongue. So whatever your mother tongue, please visit once again and try to master that language. It's very, very important. You must clear with basic minimum marks whatever be your Indian language, your mother tongue. This is very, very critical. Number two, English language. English language to a some standard, you must train yourself and clear the examination. 300 marks each. These two language papers you must clear. Then only you can really think of even, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the UPSC taking up the correction of your papers. Okay, leave that. These two papers don't count. So the next one is most important one is the essay, an essay writing. Essay can be asked from any subject, empowerment of women, India's space programs, India's external uh, affairs, in, in India's success in poverty alleviation, uh, you know, crime against women, the current topics like a, a climate change. So India's young population, uh, even the migrant laborers can be a subject. So, of uh, an essay. So, the essay writing is a great art. Uh, it carries 250 marks. You had to go through this. So, develop the art of writing essays. How to develop the art? You should have the information. You should have the statistics. You should have the data. You should have the skills. You should have the knowledge. You should have the vocabulary power. How will you develop? Can you develop in a day? <laughs> Impossible. You can only develop over a period of time. You should start reading essays. The writings in the newspapers, leading newspapers, and just go through how they write the articles, essays. So it will take a long time, like an artist. So, but this story practice it is very, very important, 250 marks. Now, there is general studies. Basically, over the period of time, UPSC has become an examination of general knowledge. What they say is you should have the knowledge of you know, a prudent Indian citizen, of normal prudence. You don't have to be a rocket engineer, but you should have the prudence of at least a man who is sitting in the barber shop and reading the newspaper every day. He knows the politics. He knows the economics. He knows the latest scientific development. He knows many things about ecology and environment. He knows about poverty. He knows about unemployment. He knows about how the government functions, government programs uh, are being implemented. You should have that much knowledge. That's the idea. So, General knowledge, one paper, two paper, three and four paper, 250 marks each, 1,000 marks. Very a chunk of the mark goes to general studies, 1,000 marks. Already 250 marks for the general essay. Now, there, is, there are two papers that is called optional papers. If you are a student of agriculture, animal husbandry, medicine, engineering, civil engineering students, civil engineering, mechanical engineering, and electrical engineering is allowed as an optional subject, not computer science. <laughs> So, sociology, psychology, anthropology, or any of the subjects you really like, one of the subjects of the optional is Indian language. If you are from Tamil Nadu, Tamil can be your second optional subject. Malayalam, Kerala, Telugu, or Kannada, Hindi, Odisha. So, all these, one of the Indian languages also can write as an optional. It's a good thing. People who are very good in the mother tongue, they can try this. 250, 500 marks. So, 250 marks for your essay, 1,000 marks for general studies, 500 marks for optionals, 
1,750 marks. 250 marks for the interview. So with all this, you have um, uh, the interview marks will be added along with this 1,750 marks. And your total marks, if it is uh, if high enough, you will find a place in the list of selected candidates. So with this exam pattern, you may ask me, sir, I am interested in IAS, I am interested in IPS, please tell me how can I go about it? How can I prepare? What can I do? So I will say, last 20 years, more particularly last 10 years, if you see at the question papers for the preliminary, more particularly, most of the questions are taken out of the newspapers. Anything that has appeared in the latest news, not directly, they may not ask about the same information, but something to do with that. Suppose, Ayodhya verdict. In history, there are wherein people like Flinch, who has written about Ayodhya and the kind of worshipping there, and the Supreme Court has taken that report and incorporated in, in the verdict. Now, any student who is preparing for the civil services can immediately come to the conclusion this is going to be a certain question. So, newspapers, all of you, please read a newspaper at least for two hours in a day. There are so, but you must know what is to read and what is not to read. Somebody killed somebody else, somebody cheated somebody else. That's not important. But what is important, I, I forgot to mention you about the economy, Indian economy and uh, associated issues. You should have some general idea about money, reserve bank or uh, you know fiscal policies budget so this will be reported every day in the newspaper science and technology there are a lot of reports about power television program there is a lot of reports about the indian foreign policy there are so much report reporting every day about various subjects there are discussions there are articles written by great people india's internal and external security their economic position economic growth so uh, our overall uh, election system, there is so much happening in the newspapers. If you slowly follow the, the issues, the Kashmir issue, the Sri Lankan issue, the water sharing issues, the, 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 the Kaveri the water dispute tribunal. So these, these things are discussed on a daily basis. So you follow up all these things in the newspaper. People living in remote areas, the tribes. There are incidents in which there are, there's a tribe called the Sentinel tribes who have really murdered one of the journalists. So what's our program about scheduled cost and scheduled, particularly scheduled tribes? What are the amendments made in the scheduled tribe acts? What are the uh, different kind of tribes living in various places of our mainland and and, and, and men? And so you must be naturally interested in all these things. So newspaper reading is very, very important. Number two. As a student appearing for the civil service examination, you must improve your English language ability to a tremendous, large extent, profound knowledge, because you should be able to understand the words, the meaning of the words. So, police state is different from state police. Uh, endless, hopeless ending is different from endless hope. So, words for meanings, you should have a clear understanding. That the language can be developed only through, once again, reading. You should read a lot of books. If you are a graduate of engineering, graduate of art and science, please, it's very important that you read the textbooks, original textbooks, written by the best author in the whole world. This alone can make you an empowered person in language. It's very, very, I don't know how many of you really read the textbooks of any subjects you are studying now. It's critically important. And study for more time. Try to be a, 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 a passionate reader of books. This alone can give you the natural English language ability. It's very important. This will go up to the interview because in the interview you should be able to express. For expression, words are important. Vocabulary is important. Phrases are important. Even if you have the idea, you probably you will not be able to tell that. So even you can read. His, the, 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 the story books, wonderful story books by wonderful authors. Recently, recently I read a book by um, 
by Ferrari, uh, by, by, by Stephen Covey. One of the fine books. I am reading a book called Light from Many Lamps. One of the most motivational books. People who lost their hopes can gain hope. People who are in pain can get relieved of the pains. If you know about the great people who have suffered cheerfully. So this is a book on that. So a UPSC candidate should be an ardent reader because unless you read and assiduously prepare, unless you gather as much information as possible, it's not possible to clear this preliminary examination. And the main examination is very important, developed as, a, as, a, as, a, as an essay. So we'll never know in the general knowledge session, section, general knowledge means uh, in uh, the current affairs, about economics, about uh, science and technology, about uh, Indian constitution, about Indian freedom struggle and Indian history, about um, ecology and environment. Uh, you will never know from where questions are coming up. It can come from anywhere. So, vast reading is absolutely necessary. And see, candidates who are preparing, I will encourage you to make a small note because in, when days go by weeks and months, probably what you have learned three months before, it may not be in your memory. So I will encourage you every Saturday or Sunday, whatever you learned in the last one week, please go through the notes, refresh your memory about the names, about the statistics, about the number, about the message. Rehearse it once again, every week, once in every month, and once in two months. Just consolidate because it's not necessary you should score 100 marks in the UPSC exam. It's not necessary that you must answer all the questions. It's not possible. If you have answered 60% of the questions in the main examination, it's a good mark. You are the topper. So as much questions as possible, you should be able to write correctly. And one of the great danger in the preliminary examination in the general studies is there is a negative mark. For every three questions, the mark for one question will be detected. Every three wrong answers, you lose the mark for one right answer. It is very, very dangerous. Therefore, it's very important. You should be correct in your answer. So, to be correct in your answer, whatever we have learned at least, we should be able to answer correctly. This is the approach for your UPSC, the preliminary examination and the main examination. Okay, interview. Interview. Because I think it is 275 marks. Yeah, 275 marks. So, interview is also an examination. In fact, I, 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 I train the candidates for the interview uh, quite liberally. Many candidates come to me. I do it through uh, Skype, the Skype too, uh, online also. Uh, on an average, I do something like 60 candidates every year. And I have the experience to tell you that many candidates take it lightly. They may think, okay, after all, I cleared the main examination interview. I have seen many interviews. Why you was this in my college and school? Okay, I'll do that. No, it's not the case. Interview is a oral examination. It's also an examination, like a written examination. And it's very important because in the written examination, the examiner has not seen you. But in the interview, five people. You are faced against five people. And they will assess you, not based on what you're saying, but based on how you are saying. They will assess you as a person, as a personality. They will make out a lot of things from your demeanor, from a countenance. What kind of a person you are? Are you telling truth? Are you bluffing? Are you a dependable person? Are you a trustworthy person? Are you a honest person? So all these qualities, they will assess from you. That's why you must develop a great sense of communication. Communication is not simply, it's not simply words. It's not simply uh, your confidence also. Communication is a question of body language. So you learn and train for the interview. I will say in many questions, many, many research all over the world, there's somebody has researched 750 successful candidates in many interviews. And he has come to the conclusion, all those candidates who have not acted as if, who, who are not, uh, you know, in a pretend to be somebody else, 
all those candidates who are by themselves they are genuinely themselves okay i am silenter babu i am an officer of the rank of the dgp this is what i really know i do not know anything about nuclear science i really do not know about uh, the, the 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 technology uh, about the vaccine being produced about, uh, about coronavirus absolutely fine but if i claim that i am i, I know everything about space research i know about the atomic research uh, without even knowing then i am pretending so it's it's not necessary it's not possible for a candidate to know everything suppose 20 questions are asked not necessary you must answer all the 20 questions you can comfortably say that i don't know that reveals your honesty many candidates make the mistake of telling some lies bluffing and trying to the 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 worst mistake a candidate can make in an interview is to tell a lie number 2 to pick up an argument with the interview board is a wise or number 3 and uh, that is very very important if the if the candidate feels over a period of time that he is losing the interview and becoming very nervous that's a very big mistake how will you overcome this fear or anxiety of interview is you must attend as many mock interviews as possible this is the ultimate interview is the last stage you can't really miss it because almost one third society more than one third only will make it ultimately so for that also you must really prepare so what you have to prepare is first of all please read newspapers take down notes number 2 look for the most important questions are being asked in the last 20 years pay more attention to those questions particularly the government programs particularly on ecology and environment particularly on the current subject which is going about in the national news all those things pay attention number 2 develop the art of writing essays how in the upsc one of the critical idea is that a large subject with so much data and information you should be able to concise and bring it to a small message in few words they may say write it in 50 words the question may be write in 100 words write about uh, india's progress in the it sector in 200 words write about the growth in the economy in the last 20 years in 300 words write about the problems faced by the poor people in india suppose a question like this is a big question but you should be able to put it in a few words concise writing or precise writing is a capability you must develop over a period of time number 3 capability to convey your ideas interview skills you must develop in the meantime when you are preparing for the upsc examination so if you take care of all this start your preparation and please mind it upsc is a competitive examination <laughs> hundreds and thousands of young people energetic people intelligent people even students from medical colleges engineering colleges like the iid uh, like in chennai is anna university highly aspiring talented people will be competing in a competition who will win in a competition everybody cannot be winners you should have a plan a strategy only those who who work out work strategy who plan their work and work their plan alone can really win a competition like the upsc and the common question is how many hours i read i just can't answer this question because when i was preparing for the ias exam i mean ips exam or the same examination so i was working in a bank and i must go early in the morning till late in the evening when i was working in the bank i didn't have the time so i whatever time available i will make the best use of the time intensive preparation is the answer for me i will not study for long long time there's no time so if i had 5 6 hours i should study more intensively make take down notes try to remember that because mostly i forget i have a problem of memory so that's how you know you should have your own plan your own method of memory knowledge uh, to to preserve the knowledge 
and, and your own method of preparation. So the right strategy, looking for the right answers, right questions, uh, alone can help you to accumulate as much positive knowledge, useful knowledge, and prepare yourself for the preliminary, for the main, for the interview. A small method I'll, I'll encourage every one of you to practice. If you're really very serious about the IAS or IPS examination, form a group, a WhatsApp group now, and plan. Okay, today, this week, we are going to study about the Constitution, the various questions in the Constitution. This week, we are going to study about the Indian freedom struggle, Lala Lajibati Raj, Balgangadra Tilak, Mahatma Gandhi, uh, Jawaharlal Nehru, uh, Bhimarao Ambedkar. Uh, we are going to talk about Sadar Vallabhai Patel. And we are going to really list out the events that has taken place from 1850 to 1900. Alan Octavian Hume, 1899, Indian National Congress. What is happening? The Surat split, the Squid India movement, the, the, the civil disobedience, the, the, the boycotting of the foreign articles. So entry of Mahatma Gandhi and first round table, second round table, third round table, the Crips mission, the English education, the, Char the Charter Act of 1913. So, a chronological event, which is comes first, which comes later. In fact, last three years, they have mentioned few incidents in Indian freedom struggle, and they say which came first, which came second, which came third. What is the role of uh, Rabindranath Tagore? So, uh, it's very, very critical that you distinguish between the events. There are few great Indian freedom fighters in Mumbai. They are different from the Indian freedom fighters from Calcutta. They are different from the people from the from Chennai, uh, like, 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 like Chidambaram, who has, you know, made a ship and he has sailed the ship. Kapuloti uh, Tamilan. Uh, so, BOC, uh, Kamaraja. So, people from here, Sarojini Naidu, her role. So, all these freedom fighters, they are, the name of the book they have published, the name of the weekly they have been running, they are, they, their own role, the, 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 the moderates, the extremists, how they split and what is the role of uh, the Indian national army uh, chief Subhash Chandra Bush. What happened to him? So all these things you are planning in a week. All the friends study thoroughly, deeply and come for a preparation. Like, like this, it is a video conferencing going on. So in our Zoom or video conferencing or, or Skype or now there is coronavirus a pandemic, you can't even meet, but you, you, you can have a discussion, wonderful discussion among you. A lot of clarity will come up. Suppose the Panjayat president, how many years of age he should be to become Panjayat president? The, to, to the qualification to become an MLA, 25 years or 26 years or 30 years for an MP of the Lok Sabha, the Rajya Sabha, what's the age difference? The prime minister, the, the president of the country, the vice president of the country, what is what, what age and what are the qualifications? Uh, so all these things, there will be a clarity when you discuss among yourself. Group discussion is an extremely effective, effective tool for the aspiring civil services um, examination. So uh, with this, I am through about the uh, preparation for the examination. I have a website, www.sailenderbabu.com. I have uh, given all the question papers in the last uh, 10 years or more. I have also given a lot of places of links. You can have uh, free training, free coaching from various institutions. A lot of people are offering training for uh, the UPSC exam free. And uh, I've given all the links there. Of course, uh, in the state of Tamil Nadu, whoever is in Tamil Nadu, uh, if you are keen, you can also join the Tamil Nadu government's All India Civil Services Examination Center. You have to write an examination. You'll be admitted there. You have free coaching, free food, free accommodation. Everything is free. And if you clear the preliminary examination, the Tamil Nadu government will give you a stipend of 3,000 rupees. One of the wonderful institute. A lot of candidates are cleared from there. Uh, I, I have come across many candidates, uh, like some of you, who say that I'm very poor and I just cannot afford to write the AS examination. I can't buy the books. I have no money. I will encourage you to join the government institute. I think every state will have a government institute. You can join there. Brilliant young people will join you. Make use of the opportunity. There you can really have an easy combined study. All the materials available. One of the best trainers are there uh, to train you in various subjects like uh, geography, history, uh, science, and uh, economics, uh, history. A lot of subjects are taught by the best brains, best minds in the field in, in the city, in the state. 
you can join there you can go for self study also a lot of materials are available online free uh, so start your preparation i am sure ultimately if you ask me who will win who can get it i can't easily have an answer for this uh, but i can say people who do not have a b plan <laughs> Uh, people who think this is my life, IAS is what I want, IPS is what I want. Without this, there is no life. That much commitment, if you have, and if you are willing to work, if you are prepared, like Zig Ziglar says, if you plan to win, if you prepare to win, then alone you can expect to win. <laughs> After all, you know, life reward action, action, activity, and civil service preparation. I'll tell you. It's one of the, the happiest activity. It may look tough, but let me tell you, only tough situations can make a strong person. I remember one of the great scientists, uh, he was given Nobel Prize, and they asked him, sir, you got the Nobel Prize, are you happy? Uh, at this moment in time, uh, he said, no, 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 this is not a happiest moment in my lifetime. And somebody says that I'm a good scientist, and um, they gave me this uh, Nobel Prize. Uh, by a group of people who are sitting in Sweden and, um, uh, and decide who is a good scientist, but I really don't care. But what really gives me happiness is that many years of my research, I spent hours and hours sitting without sleep, uh, you know, at the part of, years part of the uh, making of the atomic bomb. Uh, and uh, those sleepless nights, countless, you know, reference to books and thinking, all those tough times and tough days, they are the happiest moments in your life. So candidates, if you are really serious about the IAS or IPS examination, next one year or two years, you will really, really slog. You must really, really search for information. You must really put into a lot of thinking, problem solving. And uh, at the end of the day, when you clear the examination, and that is the time, <laughs> that is the time. That's not the time of victory. Those year, days and months and years, you have been really, really collecting information, reading newspapers, writing, collating, and preparing the notes. And they, the struggle, the days of the struggle will be the most beautiful days in your life. I'm very sure you are, any, any student who is very keen, please, please take it seriously. Start your preparation. India's, uh, the, 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 the steel frame of Indian government missionary is IS, IPS, IFS, your great role to play, particularly if you really feel that you should really do something for this country, you really want to change the face of the country, you want to be the part of the nation building. I am part of solving the poverty, unemployment, illiteracy, ignorance. I want to really see India as an awakened India in which people are highly educated, highly scientific, highly helping, highly humane. A great country in the world, and that I want in my contribution. That's a great contribution. You should really join IAS and IPS and IFS and other great services, 22 services, because you are the leader of the government. I'm not saying other services are less important, they're also important. Now you may be seeing even any servant, any government, sir, anybody, anybody who is contributing, anybody who is contributing to the wealth of the nation is very important. That's my personal view. It can be a healthcare worker uh, cleaning the street. He's equally more important than me, I'll say. Uh, but if you are really interested in leadership, giving the leadership for the country's nation, nation, nation building, and if you are, you are keen interest and you think you have the knowledge you, you, and you have the capability and you have the attitude to be honest till the end, um, then this is your service. You can really join here and you can start your preparation. Wish you all the best and I thank the organizers for this great opportunity. Jai Hind. அப்பா ஓடி இருக்குமா இல்ல ஓடிக்கிறதுல ஓடிக்கிறது ஒட்டி வச்சிருக்கணும் அப்படின்ட்டு இல்ல அதான் பக்கத்துல இருக்கும்